Prostate cancer is a type of cancer that occurs in the prostate gland, which is a small, walnut-shaped gland in men that produces fluid that nourishes and transports sperm. Located just below the bladder and in front of the rectum, the prostate is a crucial part of the male reproductive system. Prostate cancer is one of the most common types of cancer in men. It usually grows slowly and initially remains limited to the prostate gland, where it may not cause serious harm. However, while some types of prostate cancer grow slowly and may need minimal or no treatment, other types are aggressive and can spread quickly. It's important here to differentiate between prostate cancer and prostate enlargement, also known as benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. Prostate enlargement is a non-cancerous condition where the prostate gland becomes enlarged as men get older. It is not cancer and does not increase the risk of developing prostate cancer, but it can cause bothersome urinary symptoms due to the enlarged prostate pressing on the urethra. Now, let's dive deep into prostate cancer. How common is prostate cancer? Prostate cancer is the second most common cancer in men worldwide, following skin cancer. In the United States, about one in nine men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer during their lifetime. It's most often diagnosed in older men, with the majority of cases found in men over the age of 65. However, it can occur in younger men, though this is less common. Despite its high prevalence, many men diagnosed with prostate cancer do not die from it. In fact, over 3 million men in the U.S. who have been diagnosed with prostate cancer at some point are still alive today. This high survival rate is due to several factors, including early detection and effective treatments. Causes of prostate cancer The exact causes of prostate cancer aren't completely understood, but several factors are known to increase the risk of developing the disease. First of all, age is the most significant risk factor for prostate cancer. The likelihood of developing prostate cancer increases significantly after age 50, and most cases are diagnosed in men over the age of 65. A significant factor also is genetics. Men with a family history of prostate cancer, particularly if a father, brother, or son has been diagnosed with it, are at higher risk. Certain inherited gene mutations can also increase risk. Diet and lifestyle choices can also influence the risk of prostate cancer. For example, diets high in red meat and high-fat dairy products and low in fruits and vegetables may increase the risk. Additionally, obesity and a sedentary lifestyle have been linked to an increased risk of more aggressive prostate cancer. Symptoms and how they feel like. Prostate cancer often doesn't cause any symptoms in its early stages. This is because it tends to grow slowly and remains limited to the prostate gland for a long time. When symptoms do occur, they can vary depending on the size and location of the cancer. Common symptoms include difficulty urinating, a weak or interrupted urine flow, and the need to urinate frequently, especially at night. Some men may also experience pain or burning during urination. The urinary symptoms can be particularly bothersome and may include a feeling of not completely emptying the bladder, dribbling of urine, or even incontinence. These symptoms can significantly impact the quality of life and lead to stress and anxiety. It's important to note that these symptoms can also be caused by non-cancerous conditions such as benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, or prostatitis, so experiencing them doesn't necessarily mean you have prostate cancer. However, if you do experience any of these symptoms, it's important to see a doctor for evaluation. As the cancer grows and spreads beyond the prostate, other symptoms may develop. These can include blood in the urine or semen, pain in the hips, back or legs, and discomfort or swelling in the pelvic area. If prostate cancer spreads to the bones, it can cause bone pain and fractures. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Diagnosis of Prostate Cancer Diagnosing prostate cancer typically involves several steps. It usually starts with a visit to a doctor, who will take a detailed medical history and perform a physical examination, including a digital rectal exam, DRE. During a digital rectal exam, the doctor inserts a gloved, lubricated finger into the rectum to feel for any abnormalities in the texture, shape, or size of the prostate gland. 
Another common screening test is the prostate-specific antigen, PSA, blood test. PSA is a protein produced by both normal and cancerous prostate cells. Elevated levels of PSA in the blood can be a sign of prostate cancer, but they can also be caused by other prostate conditions, such as BPH or prostatitis. So, an elevated PSA level alone isn't enough to diagnose prostate cancer, but can indicate the need for further testing. If the digital rectal exam or PSA test suggests the possibility of prostate cancer, the next step is usually a prostate biopsy. During a biopsy, a small sample of prostate tissue is removed and examined under a microscope to look for cancer cells. This procedure is typically done using a needle guided by ultrasound, which provides a detailed image of the prostate. In some cases, additional imaging tests may be performed to determine the extent of the cancer. These can include a transrectal ultrasound, magnetic resonance imaging, or a bone scan to check for spread to the bones. The results of these tests help determine the stage of the cancer, which is a measure of how far it has spread. Staging is important for deciding on the best treatment approach. Prostate cancer is often classified using the TNM system, which stands for tumor, nodes, and metastasis. This system describes the size of the tumor, whether the cancer has spread to nearby lymph nodes, and whether it has metastasized to other parts of the body. Treatment for prostate cancer the treatment of prostate cancer depends on several factors, including the stage and grade of the cancer, the patient's age and overall health, and personal preferences. The most common treatment options include number 1. Active surveillance. For men with low-risk, slow-growing prostate cancer, active surveillance may be recommended. This approach involves closely monitoring the cancer with regular PSA tests digital rectal exams, and occasional biopsies to ensure it isn't growing or spreading. Treatment is only initiated if the cancer shows signs of progression. This option can help avoid or delay the side effects of more aggressive treatments. Number two, surgery. One common surgical procedure for prostate cancer is a radical prostatectomy, which involves the removal of the entire prostate gland and some surrounding tissue. This can be done through traditional open surgery or minimally invasive techniques, such as laparoscopic or robotic-assisted surgery. Surgery is typically recommended for healthy men with localized prostate cancer that hasn't spread beyond the prostate. Number 3. Radiation Therapy Radiation therapy uses high-energy rays to kill cancer cells. It can be delivered externally, using a machine that directs radiation at the prostate or internally, through a procedure known as brachytherapy, where radioactive seeds are implanted directly into the prostate. Radiation therapy can be an effective treatment for localized prostate cancer and is often used in combination with other treatments. Number four, hormone therapy. Also known as androgen deprivation therapy, hormone therapy aims to reduce levels of male hormones or androgens that can stimulate the growth of prostate cancer cells. This can be achieved through medications that block the production or action of androgens or through surgical removal of the testicles, known as orchiectomy. Hormone therapy is often used in advanced prostate cancer or in combination with other treatments for higher-risk cases. Number 5. Chemotherapy Chemotherapy uses drugs to kill rapidly growing cancer cells. It's typically used for prostate cancer, that has spread to other parts of the body and is no longer responding to hormone therapy. While chemotherapy can help control the growth and spread of cancer, it can also cause significant side effects. At the end, living with prostate cancer involves not only managing the disease itself, but also coping with the emotional and psychological impact of the diagnosis and treatment. Many men experience anxiety, depression, and stress related to their cancer diagnosis and treatment. So, it's very important to seek support from healthcare professionals, counselors, support groups, and loved ones. Now, we want to hear from you. Do you or someone you know have prostate cancer? What symptoms did they have? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.